the guys Ali Pierce at the ranch. Now, really, this particular uh, video is, uh, uh, well, it's at the ranch, but it's at, at a home because this could apply to anybody. Well, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is talk to you very briefly about uh, the UV ultraviolet sterilizer for your water system. Now, if you live in the country, you already may know about this. <clears throat> but I believe nowadays, a lot of people who live in the city, who live in town, also have UV sterilizers. Uh, water quality in the world generally is not what it used to be. And I know there are a lot of problems in some places actually in town and a UV or ultraviolet sterilizer for your water uh, is, is pretty common. It might be a good idea as well. So you get some ideas from this, I hope. <clears throat> Ali Pierce at the home. No, that sounds silly. Ali Pierce at the ranch. Okay, okay, so here we go. First of all, let me take one, uh, just a few seconds and explain about our water system. Since we live in the country, our water comes from a well about, a, about 400 feet from here roughly, up at the front of the property. If you've been watching my videos, you probably have seen our property. Uh, and up at the front, we have a uh, we have two wells. Actually, it's a dug well, but there's a drilled well, which is the well from which we get our own water, our drinking water, cooking and showering water. And uh, the, the well is, is about uh, 150 feet deep, right down into the bedrock. Uh, it goes down into the, into the sedimentary and, and into the bedrock uh, and gets water from down there. Now, the water is pretty good. That's pretty good water. Clean, clear, uh, no nasty organisms in it. We test it uh, every year or so. It is, it is relatively hard because it's coming out of rock. There's some limestone down there, other sedimentary rock, and then there's granite, the, the bedrock. So it comes out and it's relatively hard. It's not crazy hard, but relatively hard. So we soften it as well. <laughs> So it goes into the softener, that comes out of the softener. Now, this is where, <clears throat> where we get into what I want to talk about today. And that is specifically the sterilizer. So the softener softens the water, makes it nice and soft, and, and you don't need much soap. Not in our water, oh, no, and it's, first of all, it's well water, and it's been softened, and you put a tiny, tiny drop of soap in, and you get lots of suds just because it's soft. But... So it takes all those nasty things out, but it doesn't take out bacteria or microbes or any of those other things which, which, which don't react with salt and don't get stuck to the media. That stuff continues right on through, and you want to get rid of that, particularly if you live in the country. Oh, the city too, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, a lot of cities are having problems with their water supply, with nasty things being in them, and people get sick. So in order to make the water safe to drink, okay, we've made it soft. Now we have to make it safe to drink. So there's no bugs in there, okay? We'll call them bugs in there. So to do that, you have to sterilize it somehow. And there's different ways to do that, but the, what I have found anyway, the quickest and easiest, most efficient, and probably the least expensive way to sterilize it is using ultraviolet rays. So you buy yourself an ultraviolet sterilizer. Yeah, this is what it looks like. You see in there, Diana? This is, this is an ultraviolet sterilizer. It's just a long stainless steel tube, and inside that tube there's a glass quartz tube so that there's an outer jacket just outside of here and then there's an inner jacket and the water comes from the softener and into the sterilizer and then into the system for the house to be used and there's a long tube in there there's a long bulb this is it here now this is very much like a like a fluorescent bulb and, and when this is turned on it glows with a beautiful uh, ultraviolet purple color don't look at it for too long and uh, and and as the water goes past this because there's a glass tube around this and the water goes up through the jacket as it passes through this those ultraviolet rays kill all the bugs they kill all the germs and the microbes and the viruses no they kill them done gone over with i guess they stay in there i've never really tasted them they don't make the water chewy at all but i guess they're still there but they're dead so they're not dangerous anyway <laughs> And then it goes into the house. Now, one of the things that I skipped over here is, in order for the ultraviolet sterilizer to work properly, the water has to be free of any particles, salt, dirt, iron, whatever. So you have to have a filter in there. As you see right here, we have just a filter. It's a very good filter. This filter uh, uh, takes out any particles uh, larger than, larger than 0.5 no, five microns, sorry, five microns. Now, it's hard for me to describe what a micron is. It's, it's damn small, okay? If you want to know what a micron is, go on to Google. So there's a filter in here, and this is just a pretty simple paper filter. I'm going to take it out of here to show you. Filter, just like that. You see there? It's a filter. 
looks a bit like an oil filter. And that filters out uh, any particles that happen to be in the water after it comes out of the softener. And then that water goes into the sterilizer and the sterilizer is happy because there's nothing in the water you can sterilize. It. It's just that simple. Now, our system has been here for a long time, 20 years, a bit more. And uh, so a little while ago, uh, when, when we were, I was looking at it and, and uh, doing the annual maintenance, which really just re means changing this tube, these tubes are good for about a year. And then they lose their effectiveness, and, and so you just replace them. And tubes cost 50, 60 bucks. So once a year, you just replace the tube. Turn the water off, take the tube out, put a new tube in, plug it back in, go. Uh, however, there was a problem. The tube wasn't working. Uh, that, there's a little uh, device, a little panel here that tells you that it's uh, good or bad, and it said bad. So uh, I could either buy a new tube and buy a new uh, uh, controller or ballast, is what they call it, controller or ballast, uh, or, or do something else. Well, the cost of the controller plus a new tube and a few other things and so on was getting up there to two or $300. dollars and I can get a whole brand new system for five or six. So as I, as I have said in the past, you know, for a little bit more, I can get a new, more efficient, up-to-date system. <clears throat> this is the new ultraviolet sterilizer for our system. And you say, hey, what the heck? It's half the size. It's actually less than half the size in length. Anyway, you see the difference? Big, big difference. However, <clears throat> as I said earlier, it's more efficient. If you've seen my video about uh, hot water tanks, you know why I change the hot water tank every few years. Because they get better. They get more efficient. And in my particular case, where I rent, it doesn't cost me a darn cent. So I just replace them. Same with this. This system is much smaller. Yes, it's much more efficient, and yet the sterilizing is, is better. So this is what we got. Now all I have to do is put it in. So there's the actual sterilizer, the, uh, the uh, ultraviolet sterilizer. There's that uh, <clears throat> controller or ballast that I mentioned to you that plugs into one end with the bulb and plugs into the wall socket. These new ones actually have a little display so it tells you all kinds of neat things, you know. Netflix movie, 9 o'clock, don't miss it. No, I didn't tell you that. But it tells you when it's time to change the bulb. It tells you if everything's working okay and efficiency, all kinds of neat stuff. So for, for that little bit of uh, extra money beyond uh, maintaining the old one, I've got a new one, but lots of more efficient, uh, should cost less to run, and, and so on. So all I have to do is get this in there. Now, the old system that was put in was copper pipe, because 20 years ago, that's what we used, copper pipe. Nobody used plastic pipe, that'd be stupid. Plastic pipe? That's all they use now, but ours is copper pipe. Back again with our new uh, ultraviolet sterilizer, all installed. I would love to tell you that it was easy, but nothing is ever easy, particularly when you get to be an old guy. Uh, but it wasn't that uh, the, the system is hard to put in. The instructions are very simple and explicit, and uh, the hookup and everything else is pretty simple as well. It's just that we're dealing with, uh, with taking an older system out and putting a new system in. The new system was a different size, a different, uh, different pipe, different connections, different screws, different mounts, the whole thing. So you always run into a little uh, irritating little bumps along the way, but it's very simple, as you can see. So now what we have is I had to move these two um, uh, two by four mounting uh, um, boards that I had in with the old system uh, in order to get the new system in because the clamps, which are, by the way, are beautiful clamps, cast aluminum clamps, uh, stainless steel screws, really nice, much nicer than the older system, plastic clamps. And I, but I had to move those boards to get the, the new system in, which is much shorter, as you can see. Uh, but it's all in there. And uh, here's, so here's the new uh, uh, Sterlite made by Viqua, I'm not sure how they spell that, but it's V-I-Q-U-A, Viqua, I guess it is, uh, installed, and uh, even though it's a much shorter system, apparently it's uh, as efficient at sterilizing the water, if not better than the old system. So there it is, all installed, easy to go. The bulb comes out from the top, you unscrew the cap, pull the bulb up, put a new bulb in when you need to, every year, once a year, and it's just that simple. Uh, here's the controller, and the controller right now shows that we have 365 days of use left on this controller. I can actually push the right button on the controller. It'll tell me how many hours it's been used and other information as well. And one nice thing about the new controller on this system is that it tells you if the bulb is not functioning. And that was one of the irritating things about the earlier system, which didn't do that. It did not say that the bulb wasn't functioning. So your UV sterilizer is in place and is plugged in and there's a little red light on the controller and everything's fine. But the bulb has stopped working. So now you're getting untreated water. 
and you don't know. It could go on for a day or a, year or a month. Now with this system, if the bulb is not functioning properly, it will warn us. That's much, much better. As far as plumbing, originally, the original plumbing, I think you saw it earlier, had the three quarter inch copper pipe, and here it is right here, and coming straight to the system, all soldered in nicely and tight the way I like it to be. I, I like soldered joints, uh, but these new, um, what are they called? Uh, shark bite. <laughs> uh, push. Yeah, yeah, push to seal or push to whatever. Push to connect pipes. So they seem pretty good. And they work right on three quarter inch pipe. Clean the end of the pipe up nicely and slip them on. They lock on tightly. And then I use a stainless steel braided three quarter inch hose to go into the new sterilizer. Now, a couple of fittings in there I needed to use, but there's no problem. And I was able, I found these hoses. I was looking for the hoses. I found the hoses and right beside them were hoses with valves on them. Hey, what the heck, you know? That way, if I want to, for some reason, shut the uh, shut the uh, sterilizer off completely from the house system, I can do that. I would do that, I suppose, when I need to change the quartz sleeve, huh? Which is also quite easy. It pops out the top or the bottom. It doesn't happen very often, every couple of three years, maybe. So there's the whole system all plugged in. I have the proper, what they call a drip loop <laughs> in the uh, cable here, you see, so that if any water does happen to leak out and get on this cable, it does not run into the controller. You would not want the controller down here below the vehicle where any water that did happen to come out would go into the controller. You want the controller up above and put what they call a drip loop. That's a good term. In there as well. Plugs in, turn the water on, turn the water on, babadoo. So our water is now safe to drink. So there's the system all nice and neat and, uh, and uh, working perfectly. You may have noticed that I put these insulating uh, sleeves, which you can purchase anywhere, for half inch pipe, or some half inch pipe here somewhere, or for three quarter inch pipe, and, and bigger too. But these insulating foam sleeves over all of the exposed uh, pipes. Um, the, 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 most people put those on the hot water system, as I have over here. This is the hot water line coming out of the tank. And the hot water line runs into the house, and I, I put that on there. And most people do the same thing. And that is to conserve the hot water, save energy. But I also have them on cold water feeds as well. And the reason for that is, is, is very simple, not to conserve the cold, <laughs> but in, to, to keep those cold water pipes from and getting and getting condensation on them and dripping water. If if it's if your house is quite humid, maybe in the midsummer, and uh, and the, the cold water is cold, which it is here, it's about 42 degrees coming into the house. Then sometimes these pipes will sweat. You'll get water con con condensing on the outside of the pipe, which is you know not nice and makes a mess on the floor and drips. So if you put these uh, these insulating sleeves on, that uh, eliminates that or certainly reduces it anyway. So there's our, there's our new system: water in, water meter, which is unusual, pressure switch, pressure tank gauge, ba 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 do through the softener, through the whole house filter into our brand spanking new sterilizer, and away we go. What do you think? Maybe I'll take a shower now, Diana. It'd be kind of nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. Any questions, ask me in comments. I'll try to help if I can. Maybe there's something interesting there for you. And certainly this new uh, Viqua system made by Sterilite, same company uh, that, that made the uh, earlier one we had for over 20 years and worked perfectly. And um, we're very happy with that. <clears throat> so that's all installed now. And I think it's a pretty neat installation. Let me know what you think. Alec Pierce at the ranch, home for a shower. Take care. Bye-bye.